Good morning guys. This is Sasha from Scratch with Sasha. Today we're gonna make an ice cream game. Uh, this game will be very easy to make and let's get started. So basically there are three parts in our ice cream, the cone, the scoop and the decorations. So we want each of them to be in a different sprite. So I've already got all of those in my backpack. So the cherry and the scoop and the cone. Okay, so we've got this. Each of them have different costumes. The sprinkle, oh, okay. The sprinkles have, the sprinkles and the cherries are the decorations. And the scoop has four costumes. The cone has three costumes, so Basically, when we click the sprite, we want it to change to the next costume. So, let's get coding. So, uh, when the flag is clicked, we want the cone to stay in its, uh, stay in its position. Right now, it's uh, in a very good position and it looks uh, nice. So, let's change the, uh, let's set the position to 7 and minus 92 and the same for the others okay now finally the decoration okay now as you can see the cone is in uh, the cone is in front of the scoop but the scoop should be in front of the cone so we want the cone to go behind to, we want it to go to the back layer so click on the arrow and, and switch to back so it goes there and the cherry decorations and everything we want it to go to the front layer the front most layer so that's it that's enough with the positioning yeah it comes back to place so let's switch the background to something uh, an interesting pattern mm, yeah this one's nice okay now we want to click on this and it wants to go and it has to go to the next costume so we, when the sprite is clicked we want it to go to the next costume see really simple this is the code for all the sprites And the last sprite. Okay. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. So, I am not able to click on that, the sprinkle that easily. So, I am going to draw a big sprinkle. Just, just one big sprinkle, not too big. This is too big. And this is too small. This much should do. Now I'm able to click on it easily. So you can end right here if you want, but uh, I'm gonna do some more changes. So I'm gonna add another sprite, and I'm gonna not paint it. Uh, I'm I'm gonna get a button, and I'm gonna type done on it. So when they are done customizing the ice cream, we want to click on that button and it goes to and the background changes and says like, wow, your ice cream is so nice or something like that. So let's delete this costume. Let's type done on this button. A really small button is enough, not too big. So done and let's change the color to white okay that's the button is done okay now let's place it here and we don't want the button going anywhere so let's set its x and y 
there we go now it won't move anywhere now we want to click on this button and the backdrop the backdrop has to change so when the sprite is clicked and the backdrop i am going to make another backdrop and i already have oops uh, okay okay i've already made another backdrop it's in my backpack not this one okay so i've made this backdrop so it's kind of out of place let's select everything i mean everything and group it move it till it looks nice here okay this looks nice let's just add one more dot here not very small you want it kind of big okay so that's it this is done so let's start okay now when the flag is clicked we want the backdrop to change back to this so when the flag is clicked switch backdrop to stripes okay now when we click done let's see uh, we didn't complete this yet so when we click done we want the backdrop to change to backdrop 2 let's see if it works now okay it works so that's it if you want you can add a thumbnail to this uh or this itself looks like a th thumbnail so the thumbnail is optional you can just leave it like this and it will look really nice but i'm gonna go the extra mile and make the thumbnail i've already made it so let's code it then i'm just changing this dot because it looks weird and all the other dots are next to it um, we've not done a white dot yet. Okay, so that's it. Enough of this. Now, yeah, it works. So let's make the thumbnail. I've got the thumbnail here, and it's sprite. So you can choose paint sprites, and you can make this thumbnail yourself. Yeah, this ice cream looks nothing like the one we made. But it's nice. So it's nothing like the one we made. It's like a cartoon. I got this from Google. If you want, you can just take this ice cream and put it here instead of this. So let's code it. And we don't want this ice cream. Okay, let's code this. So we don't want the thumbnail to show when we are doing all this. So when the flag is clicked we want it to hide yeah so we want this thumbnail to go to x this and y that and this is the perfect x and y for this so we don't have to put any uh, events blocks for, for the for this code so go to x36 and y28 and we want this to come to the front layer of everything else okay so go to front layer and we want it to show especially we want it to show so i'm clicking the flag it, uh, it hides now i'm clicking this it shows so before we save a project we have to make sure we click this then save it now it's saving now whenever we see the project page it uh, this is how it will look like and as soon as we click the flag it will disappear so that's it hope you like my video and uh, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more video bye bye